Vladislav Kanyus, a murderer from Kemerova, received a pardon from Vladimir Putin instead of 17 years in prison. He was brutally killing his ex-girlfriend, Vera Pechtelieva, for several hours in his flat. Later, the relatives of the murdered woman learned that Kanyus, who had been previously convicted three times, was released from the colony and went to fight against Ukraine as part of the PMC Wagner. The law adopted in the summer allows them to release convicted even for such crimes during mobilization or martial law, but expungement of a criminal record is possible in connection with receipt of a state award or in connection with dismissal from service upon reaching the age limit for service. Kanyus, as we know, is already at home going to barbecues with friends. What to do? As always, not to be silent. Scream as loud as possible. If we remain silent, we will simply accept the fact that such murder will walk our streets. Alena Popova, human rights activist on Telegram. The examination recorded more than a hundred wounds on Vera's body, bruises, hematomas and cut wounds. Death occurred after strangulation with an iron wire. The case received wide publicity after a record of a call to the police appeared online, during which Vera's screams were heard. Miss, can you hear the screaming behind the door? And what should I do? Where the goddamn police? Now Kanyus, like thousands of other prisoners, is free. Since the beginning of the year, Russian occupiers and paramilitary mercenaries who returned from the war against Ukraine have killed at least 27 people. In the first three days of October alone, two murders were committed. On October the 3rd, ex-Wagner mercenary Denis Stepanov probably set fire to a house with two women in the Krasnoyarsk region. And on October the 1st, former PMC militant Vladimir, according to investigators, killed a four-year-old daughter of his wife in Lipetsk. At the end of September, in the Nizhny Novgorod region, former Wagnerite mercenary Oleg probably doused his sister with petrol and burned her alive. Also in September, by a resident of Chita, Tsirian Dorje Tsirinjapov, who returned from the war where he rented up from a colony, became a suspect in a murder. From a message by the agency publication on Telegram. According to the experts, more than 50,000 prisoners from Russia have already been conscripted into the war against Ukraine. We see perfectly well what is happening today at the front, and it is clear that the military as such is not fighting there, even those who have been trained, I mean mobilized. Therefore, the figure most likely varies from 70 to 90,000, the total number of prisoners that were or are currently being used at the front. It was in September that most of the killings by Wagner PMC mercenaries occurred. Igor Safonov, together with an acquaintance, killed six people at once. Then they, trying to hide traces of the crime, set fire to two houses. In total, since the beginning of the year, returned Wagner militants have been involved in 12 crimes. Their victims were 19 people. Reported by Victoria Smirnova, Pavlo Stelmach, UATV News.